So we have to do an update on the Logan Paul v. George Janko story. So as you guys know, the other day I posted or I spoke about this clip that was going semi-viral that featured George Janko talking very negatively about his time. No, talking very negatively about why I him. Had to oh, 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 sorry, sorry. Talking very negatively about why him, why he had to leave Impulsive and why him and Logan Paul fell out. And it's, it was a very impassioned plea, very impassioned rant in general. And myself and other people kind of felt really bad for him. There were some details in the story that didn't make sense, like the 11K that he spent every month or something to travel or to like do the show didn't really make any sense. But overall, it did sound like Logan Paul was a terrible friend. He was making loads of money himself on the pod and through his other business ventures, but he wasn't cutting his friends in with any sort of deals, especially the ones that were on air with him. So it kind of made it, you know, it kind of drummed home the belief that Logan is a piece of shit. Well, guess what happened? Logan clapped back with a reply where it kind of sounds like George Janko might have lied. So let's play the first clip that we remember. And then we're going to obviously play the clip that features um, Logan Paul. But this is the first clip that went viral yesterday where George Janko kind of aired out Logan Paul's dirty laundry and how badly he treats his friends in business. The last straw for me was, Mike, I had to escape. I had to leave for my own fear. When Logan came after me for my religion, the show hit rock bottom and we weren't getting paid. I have a mortgage. I have my sister that works for me. I have Belle. I'm trying to get married. I had all these things. I had to start my own show because we're not making money on this show and I'm getting pushed out of the well, show. Well, at the time, we were making money. I can show you my books. I was spending 10 Gs a month being on the show. Right. Name me a job that you spend $10,000 to do. <laughs> and by the way, let's not forget that for a year and a half I didn't get paid and I didn't get paid for years but when I got pushed out and I'm seeing that I'm getting pushed out and I start my own show do you know what my final straw was what I got my show going and then not only was I controlled and pushed around on impulsive but then Logan's making calls and directing my show and I'm saying hey man you can't tell me what to do on my own show that's not okay what's that about he told me that I couldn't take Celsius this is a guy who's sending a screenshot of 11 million dollars a week that he's making and on top of that we never got any money from in prime and we own that show so technically we should have gotten a percentage of that I never asked for it like the way you did I stayed the f out of it I didn't care because I'm grateful for what I'm making I'm gonna go start my own business but when i come over here because i'm scared i'm gonna lose my job here i go logan i will take half the deal if you want to put it on the table for my show he says i won't pay you a dime you're here because of me and then i said well what do you want me to do for my bills bro i got no money and he says go have your rich dad pay for it listen that's we, fighting everybody words, look at me no that's but no fighting but you words, bro. you you don't bring you up say, somebody's father would you say bro? that the way that you handled it from a word standpoint was mature acceptable that i beat the breaks off of him correct if he was in front of me i would have swung at him so that was obviously what we heard the other day george Janko didn't seem happy with how um what's his face logan paul did business with him well guess what it's not as simple as it seems because logan paul clapped back and it sounds like george Janko might have embellished the story a tad i don't know i'm not sure who to believe i think in this whole entire story i kind of lend I'm kind of leaning more to what Sarlux is saying in the chat. All three are garbage humans. But in this particular beef and back and forth, it sounds like maybe what George Janko was painting Logan Paul out to be wasn't exactly correct. Now, do I think Logan Paul is still a piece of shit and probably does do his friends dirty? Probably, right? There's, there's, you know, where there's smoke, there's, you know, where there's smoke, there's fire, whatever. Um, So I get that. But in this particular instance, it sounds like George Janko might have put a bit more salt on the fucking rice. Let's see what you guys think as well. I had to start my own show because we're not making money on the show and I'm getting made, pushed out. You made money on the show. The I can show you my books. I was spending 10 Gs a month being on the show. All right, let's talk about this. Obviously, I wasn't on the podcast to represent myself, so I'd like to clarify a few things that were said. As well as having his own credit card, all expenses related to the show were paid for, including... There's a fucking impulsive credit card. That takes away anything straight away. Even if you're not getting paid, you're getting covered ahead of time. All your travel and everything with a credit card that you use. You don't even have to pay because usually in most places, I know I've done it before when I've worked like, you know, decent marketing jobs. You sometimes have to fucking, you know, invoice your expenses and then they kind of pay it back to you in your fucking next pay slip or they do a separate payment. But very rarely do they give you money up front and say, here's some money to take with you. You kind of have to spend your own money and then get the money back. The fact that they were given a credit card to spend to book flights and whatever is pretty wild, to be fair. 
um number one anyway i don't get the idea of like flying into a podcast it sounds like the amount of money you guys make over there on shows and shit is it just pales in significant obviously i think we obviously with the free healthcare stuff that's obviously great um but i think you guys must make way more money than us overall on average because m- motherfuckers are flying to do a weekly podcast why not just move to the location or move closer why would you just why do you want to fly all the time it sounds fucking exhausting anyway that's the first detail that really was like oops all travel and lodging obviously george's total reimbursement came out to twenty thousand dollars three hundred and seventeen cents i'd love to see any books that show otherwise spending one hundred and twenty thousand dollars a year to be on a show is a little confusing this is a guy who's sending a screenshot of 11 million dollars a week that he's making this statement is so crazy that it's almost laughable that would mean i'm making 572 million dollars a year i'm nowhere near that what happened was prime had a very successful month i'm nowhere near that but i'm close (laughs) i'm nowhere near that but I'm close. That was a that was one month. Hold on, did he say that's a month up there? What did he say there? One second. I'm nowhere near that. What happened was Prime had a very successful month. I think we did. Prime did fifty one million one month, random month. They did fifty one million dollars. Holy shit! Fair play. Fair fucking play did like 60 to 70 million and i sent it to our group chat because i was proud of the business i was stoked to show the boys and i think george maybe misinterpreted that as like my personal income the show is that a bit sus though that's a bit too much money to like be proud of on the group chat isn't it? <laughs> like what am i meant to say congrats <laughs> just double tap it and give your heart emoji isn't that like kind of antagonist like not antagonizing but aren't you kind of f- flexing on your friends a bit like what is that why are you sending us screenshots of 50 million dollars a month like i've never even seen that many commas in my bank account let alone you know what i'm making with a separate thing entity isn't that a bit strange to send to your friends like oh here friends look man i made 50 mil in a month no week in a month my bad. <laughs> Isn't that pretty crazy? I hit rock bottom and we weren't getting paid. I was getting paid $5,000 a month. But you did make a sizable amount of money on the show. And by the what way, I'm say, always like, grateful. I was always grateful. Like that? Yeah, I don't like to talk about money. I know he doesn't want to talk money. Hold on, hold on, hold on. 52 divided by 4. So if, hold on. Didn't Jules Jenko say what he said was right? He said Logan sent a screenshot where he was making 11,000 a week, 11 million a week. Logan then says, no, I wasn't. At one month, we made 52 mil. But 52 divided by four weeks is roughly 13, so it's, which is ne- you know near, near around 11. So what George Jenko said was kind of right then, isn't it? He did send a screenshot that showed that he was making 11, 000, 11 mil a week. Now he's not making that every single week. It was one particular month in prime. But you did send a screenshot, so he's not really lying, is he? (laughs) Or am I getting this wrong? George isn't really lying. He said, honestly, all of these people are scumbags, isn't it? That's what I'm I'm realising. This confusion that I'm having, trying to understand this whole thing, is probably proof that they're all fucking each other. Everyone's getting fucked. I don't know he believed it out, but George made $317,000 in the 15 months that he got paid for on Impulse. Look at how much money these guys are making on podcasts, by the way. I guess January, that's usually a, a dead month for all content creators, isn't it? They always say, January, there's less ads and shit. So that's probably what they make purely on just, I guess, the podcast strength. All the other months are probably including ads and whatever. But look at how much these motherfuckers are making per month. And they're on pods crying and complaining. Some of us don't make this per year. And these guys are making this per month on the on the monthly basis for more than a year just stacking it up i don't i don't know man i'm not too sure if this is like a human condition where we just have to create drama for the sake of it but these people who have been able to essentially create their own little mini industry be able to 
create jobs for themselves and their friends and get paid handsomely doing it you'd you'd think they'd be doing it with a smile on their face happy to making all that money and you know putting all their financial woes to one side and shit and just be living life and trying to create the best content possible for their fans and their viewers trying to have interesting conversation blah 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 and get maybe some great hosts why why are these guys beefing i don't get it even if logan is making 11 mil a month or a week you still get paid pretty well yourself why are you crying <laughs> like i know it's not 11 mil but you're still getting what's on the low month seven grand a month my bad on a podcast that you're a guest on a co-host on sorry you could easily do your he could have done his own on the side and obviously added to that monthly fucking income but i just don't get the the beef and the arguments like it's just so unnecessary why are these guys always crying about shit? Always complaining? Always, 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 always about something? And it's like, are things really that bad? Really? I don't think so. They seem pretty sweet for you guys. The work requirements consisted of about three days a month, uh, three hours each day, traveling the world, networking, and meeting some of the coolest people ever. It comes out to about two... Three... They, he, wor he worked three days a month. <laughs> Ah, these motherfuckers are working. But this is what Brendan does, isn't it? This is kind of what Brendan does, but then he makes it seem like he's doing some Herculean, t Herculean task or something. Niggas are working three days a month and they're crying about not making more. Maybe work more, isn't it? And you might make more. Who knows? It comes out to about $2,300 per hour and he also had 10% equity of the entire show. What? Not you, not Caleb, not Kevin, not Dylan. Nobody called me when i got fired george did not get fired he quit i'll touch on that in a second but after he quit i called him frequently i reached out i wanted to reconcile the wow. friendship I invited him to my look at all the texts april 2nd april 13th april 13th april 25th he was actually trying to get in touch and work it out but george didn't seem to be interested uh oh this is completely opposite to what george was saying isn't it birthday party and wrestlemania and even my ranch a few weeks later he chose not to come he also unfollowed mm, if, if you're in beef with somebody invite them to your birthday party it's kind of passive aggressive i'm not gonna lie if we have beef don't invite me to your birthday party do you know what I mean? invite me to have a drink so we can talk it out and hash it out but don't invite me to your fucking birthday party bro followed all the people he mentioned on instagram which is maybe why they didn't call him i don't know i can't speak for them but he still does not follow them to this day and then on my birthday you guys shot three episodes so i couldn't show up the two episodes he's talking about not three were shot four days after george's birthday his birthday is on january 3rd we shot those episodes on january 7th we were already in vegas signing the ufc to prime and as we do want to capitalize on the location and our use of time and energy and the guests in that city george didn't come to work because he wanted to spend time with his family for his belated birthday which i totally understand and we even praised one of the things that i love about george he prioritizes his family yeah. and friends over anything i got my show going and then not only was i controlled and pushed around on impulsive but then logan's making calls and directing my show he told me that i couldn't take celsius so this is the big one making calls trying to make it seem like i wanted to control his show is absolutely ridiculous as you can see uh right here i was like hey we got to get you prime because i saw him drinking our competitor and he told me to call him he was filming my reaction to tell me he took a deal with the competitor i told him please don't film like I, i'd like to talk about this i hope you're joking by the way the truth is i thought it was a bad look that my best friend and co-host took a brand deal with our competitor without uh, consulting me asking me giving us even a chance to match it george janko's looking a bit funny in the light bro george janko's looking a bit funny in the light isn't it george janko's looking a bit funny in the light before he signed the deal because the audience that he's building at least at the time on his own podcast was being funneled directly from the podcast that i was building with him i said hey dude i understand you need to make money the entire text is right here that i sent him after our conversation totally understand that you have to make totally understand you have to do what you have to do and support your decision i respect the fact that you're focusing on your platform and i understand honestly i don't think i've ever sent this many words this amount of words or this number of words in a text to anybody. Literally, maybe I'm a bit of a freak, but I don't think I've ever sat down and typed so many words on a screen to somebody and the, like, what the fuck is this? Who talks like this? Why don't you just call them? What is all this? What is what is this? Fuck it now, isn't it? Exactly, quite like, like imagine somebody sending you a text like, like you send them one line and they send you this block. Anyway totally understand you have to do what you have to do and i support your decision i respect the fact that you're focusing on your platform and understand that you have to pay the bills and i'm sorry impulsive isn't enough for that i love that impulse is that an auto correct then why is impulsive in bold like that is he trying to like brand like is he branded the text is he like 
doing the text? Is he writing a text in the knowledge that one day he might get screenshotted and and shared online? <laughs> impulsive, impulsive. Anyway, um, you have to pay the bills. I'm sorry, impulsive isn't enough for that. Just like you're looking out for yourself, I have to do the same. My business partners and I don't find it appropriate to promote one of our biggest competitors. I'm excited to watch you build your podcast. And when, if the deal is up and you want to come to Impulsive and I, the invite is open, I'd like to talk about how to move forward with this amicably on social because I'm sure we can avoid the lame public back and forth and handle this in a mature way that our eight years of friendship deserves. We support you. Da, da, da. Um, it's just business. I'm excited to see you at War West Romania, my birthday dinner um love you the love you again all this all, the, 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 this is la talk isn't it love you like you don't love him come on you don't love him let's be real but you know everyone's your best friend everyone's your boy everyone's your brother love you it's like come on come on you don't love that guy because i did understand his position if he needed to make money but i thought it was also a little odd because he did make three hundred seventeen thousand dollars in 15 months regardless <sighs> counting your counting your friend's pockets lovely I did tell him I can't have him on impulsive if he's going to take the deal with the competitor. But if after he makes the money, he wants to come back to the podcast, he's more than welcome. Hey, man. We're so he can't come back to impulsive because he's got a Celsius deal. Why are these guys acting like they're fucking they're in the Crips and the Bloods? Is it that deep? It's, it's a fucking energy drink. He can't come on your show because he's got to deal with... He's not going to be drinking it on fucking platform. He's just going to sit down on the pod and talk to you. So he can't have... So by this... But what Logan Paul's saying, he can't have Celsius sponsored ambassadors, celebrities, athletes on his pod because people what associate them with some energy drink. All right, bro. Where you're at, there's no room for you to grow. They won't let you grow. They will not let you grow. I thought saying that to Mike was a little crazy. He's grown a lot. Uh, he has 2.7 million subscribers since we met. He's a multimillionaire, a best-selling author. I tried as much as I could to help him get into those positions, and it's not entirely because of me. Mike is a phenom in his own right, and he capitalized on the platform that I gave him, which is awesome, just like George is doing. <laughs> That's probably why their relationship works, though, isn't it? To be fair. That's probably why their relationship works. Mike knows his place. Logan knows he's his daddy. And they kind of, you know, they, they, they exist that way. I think they, I think to be Logan Paul's friend, you have to know your place. I don't think George did. I think that's probably the main thing. You have to know your place. Your place is to be a sycophant. Your place is to be a cheerleader. Your place is to be maybe an enabler, maybe a voice of reason, maybe a, a sounding board. But your voice isn't to like challenge or to also be independent, all this, no, 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 no. You have to play the role of supporting Logan's dreams of becoming a billionaire, and that's it. If not, you know, get out of the fucking way. And, you know, he's very ruthless with that, which is why he probably will eventually become a billionaire, because he's got that sort of, like, one-track mindset. But, yeah, the mic thing is hilarious. I love how Logan knows what he did for him, you know? He's not even that humble about it. It's like, no, 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 I know. I know what I did. I changed that nigga's life. Without me, he'd still be doing fucking heroin or whatever now but if that's not growth like what is in fact i think people forget like i praise george for starting a podcast like a lot georgie started his own podcast i think it's a great idea i always love when my co-hosts venture out and do their own things congratulations it's awesome guys that sounds a bit passive aggressive again i don't believe that like, doesn't that sound passive aggressive I, I don't think he sounded happy there what do you guys think one more time I tried as much as I could to help him get into those positions and it's not entirely because of me Mike is a phenom in his own right and he capitalized on the platform that I gave him which is awesome just like George is doing yeah I didn't catch that as well <laughs> big up flying low I gave him <laughs> this is the type of this type of guy like this is the type of friend where if you if you ask him to borrow some money he's gonna remind you that he borrowed he let he let you borrow some money you know he'll hear it and he'll remind you in front of all your other friends you ask him in private, he'll bring it up again in public. He's that kind of friend, that Logan. He's that friend. No, no, it's fine. You have to pay him back. But just want to mention it. It's like, why are you mentioning it then? Why wouldn't I mention it? It's like, <laughs> he's one of those type of people.
doing now but if that's not growth like what is in fact i think people forget like i praise george for starting a podcast like a lot georgie started his own podcast i think it's a great idea i always love when my co-hosts venture out and do their own things congratulations it's awesome guys check out his podcast and also saying they won't let you grow was a little hurtful because i thought at least i helped mike do some of the things that he did and i even encouraged him to start his own podcast i think you should take a page out of georgie's book and start a show of your own there's no greater feeling than watching people you love succeed i try to give people around me a platform and if they capitalize on it fantastic Mike and George did. And George will even tell you this off camera. I encouraged him to pursue media and comedy since 2015. I really believe in the kid and I still do. There's a lot more. I'm not going to get into it, but this isn't to say, by the way, that I didn't fuck up along the way. I did. I should not have mocked his beliefs. I apologize for that. I should have stuck up for him with Bobby Lee and I definitely should have had his back more like a friend. There's a lot of things I would have done differently, but here we are. It saddens me that our story has unfolded this way. I wish him nothing but health, wealth, happiness, all the success that he wants. Um, and I hope that one day we can sit down and have a relationship and a conversation. I had to start my own. I don't know, man. Logan came across, or I don't know. He he's a little bit of a cunt. We know this already. Logan's a little bit of a cunt, but in this particular story, there's definitely two sides to it. For sure, he did scum George, and wasn't a great friend. But the way George is framing it, as in like he was work, he was literally spending 11k to like, like he might have spent 11k. But he was making 17 sometimes, some months, 30, you know, 27. Whether or not he was not able to, maybe maybe he wasn't able to um, turn up, what's it called? Maybe he was always, you know, in the black because of how much he was spending to get out there. But again, that's his own fault. Maybe move closer to the fucking pod or something, figure it out. But you were getting paid quite well from what I saw. Again, he I don't think he ever complained about the money he was receiving. He made it seem like he didn't receive any money. That's the weird thing if, if if george would have sat down and said oh i didn't think i was paid enough that's another question that's another kind of conversation that's fair but he was making it seem like he wasn't getting paid at all which obviously isn't true based on the documents that fucking um you know logan paul provided in this thing which i'm assuming are, are going to be accurate you're not going to pull up those kind of numbers just for the sake of dunking on someone on social media they're definitely numbers that probably can be corroborated in real life so george is looking a bit funny in the light George looking a bit funny in the light. A bit fucking funny. 